you believe in past lives? I don't not believe. You know, I, I think there's a certain amount of undeniable genetic memory that people have. I think that's probably where things like ophidiophobia uh, and arachnophobia come from, fear of snakes and spiders, because I think that a lot of that probably comes from there's a memory of you either watching someone die from it or you getting bit and surviving and it gets through the DNA and it gets to people today. Yeah. Because there's certain people that they, for no reason, they'll see a snake and they just fucking freeze. Whereas other people see a snake and it's just like, oh, well, we'll stay the fuck away from that. But it doesn't have that same visceral reaction. The same fear. There's things that people know, like you know to be scared of big teeth and, and scary things. And I, that's why kids are scared of monsters, right? It's because we grew, we evolved around big cats and things were eating us and wolves. Yeah, saber-toothed tigers yeah. and shit. Yeah, that's, I, I think... Prehistoric animals, man. I think those memories are in our DNA. So I have a feeling we have no idea what kind of information is stored that passes on from your genes. Yeah. Like, I, one of the things I've noticed about my kids is they have very specific talents that I have. Very specific. And uh, also that, like, some other members of my family have. Like, my uncle's an amazing artist. And I'm always like, how much of that is genetic? Like, where's that coming from? Right. Like, where's this a bit? Like, my, my youngest daughter is fucking incredible. Her artwork's amazing. Like, I watch her draw, and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, she's 12. I'm yeah. like, how are you so good? Like, she's, like, there's, there's something, I think, that kids get from their parents. And maybe that is what past lives are. And maybe when someone has a seance or some shit, and and you know they they someone they tell a story about a past life maybe that's in there somewhere like deep deep in that in that dna file code right? system yeah it's all i mean we could get down the rabbit hole here but it's you know yeah. that dna code we don't know you don't know what the fuck we don't know what's in there oh, like in how's, there. it's in with animals right like i got a dog he's a, a golden retriever sweetest dog in the world but, like, if that dog sees shit outside, he rolls around in it. Like, he knows to roll around. Like, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> kind of instinct that is, but that's, like, in his system. Yeah. It's a very specific thing. You know, if he if he sees a squirrel, he's it's it's on, bitch. Yeah. Like I'm here to kill squirrels. You know, like it's on. <laughs> squirrels and birds yeah, and shit like that. He wants to chase them. Most for him it's squirrels. He's a fucking the squirrel killer. But well, that's probably, the, I there. mean, that's the rodents, like small rodents and shit were what wolves were eating back then. Uh, it must and, be. Or taken down, like. Because it's, my it's, daughter has a chihuahua. She has this little tiny chihuahua whippet mix. He's the shit. His name is Snoop. He's this tiny little <laughs> fella. And him and Marshall are like best friends. Like, that's a rat. Like the size of a rat. Yeah. Like, how come you want to kill the squirrels, but that, that little dude is your buddy? Because he knows. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, well, it's, it's, it's the same it's thing. It's in with, there. It's the same thing with, uh, like, big dogs and babies, right? Mm -hmm. They just are soft around babies. Like, yep. they just, they, they know. They go slow. Because and, think about that. When yeah. wolves first started coming into little fucking nomad camps, right? Mm -hmm. it, like, we, they were feeding them, and they would keep them safe from the other wolves. Yes. They, it was the first fucking thing they learned was don't touch the fucking kids. Yep. Right, or you get fucking killed. Yep. Right. Yep. So they didn't. They were soft and easy with the kids, especially like animals with DNA. floppy ears. Yeah, the ones with the floppy ears, <clears throat> they think that, that that wolves, their ears droop to sort of show submissiveness, and yeah. that's how wolves, when they transitioned and became dogs over time, they they developed like Labrador ears. Yeah, that's so fucking crazy. The evolution it's wild. of dogs. It's the it's they're so close to us in a way, because uh, they're the same thing but they look so different. You know, like you could take uh, like a Great Dane and is, if you could figure out the logistics, that could fuck a little poodle. Right. And then it would make a dog. Yeah. Like how is that, how are those the same animals? <laughs> you know, and when you see- The lab created dogs that they have now, man, it is yeah. wild. But you see someone like Shaquille O'Neal and then you see like Tina Fey. Yeah. Like they could have kids. Yeah. Like the the size difference, the, the way they look is so different, but we're we're a lot like like domesticated animals in that way. And I guess it makes sense, right? Because humans all came out of Africa and they traveled all over the world. They had to adapt to all these different climates and yeah. that's what caused all those, the physical changes in people. Have you read the book Species? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That fucking Great book, book changed my life. Very, very interesting, right? When you see, hear the history of us. It's fucking wild that there were seven different species. Mm -hmm. They think there's more now. They think there's more. They keep finding one. They found a new one recently. They found uh, some DNA of a, a recent human species that is different than any one that they've found before.
And how old did they think that was? <sighs> I'm not sure. I don't quite remember. But I know they're they're in the neighborhood of what, th- th- there's some of these people that were that used to be humans that were around when modern humans were around. So like, well, yeah. Yeah, so we're like, the pro- we're the final product. We've the, yeah. are we? I, I don't. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying. Like, I know what you're from saying. The, we killed off all the fucking other ones, right? Yeah. Like you were talking last night about how you have Neanderthal in you, right? Yeah. And it's crazy to think that, like, <laughs> imagine like seeing like an ape and being like, "Yeah, I'm gonna have sex with that," you know? Yeah. Well, I think people That's were fucking crazy. I think we we're everybody was pretty close back then. I mean, we're, I think when you're dealing with like Neanderthal mating with Homo sapiens, like, yeah, they are, didn't look so much different. Right? Like, it like, wasn't like a gorilla, hairy beasts, you know, hairy beasts with fucking like deer coming skins out of the over cave. their dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it is crazy that we got to where we are today, and that it's wild the evolution of humans yeah now they're turning into like these fucking super nerds that are just yeah like they fucking genderless get on a, yeah genderless fucking no testosterone soy boy fucking it's weird out of control man it makes me crazy i, I think that's the future I, I mean i know it's not so good for you guys like you and i but i think <laughs> the future it seems like uh that's where this this race is headed I think that's why we fight it try to fight it so hard it's like i think so i think there's part of it, it goes with against men. Our, everything in our dna to fucking yeah. be like that well you have this dna that did evolve through war and conflict and fighting off predators and it gets ignited during a football game or it gets ignited during a fight like and yeah. it's like yeah and you I'm feel glad you alive. Br- I'm glad you brought this up cuz I was talking about this on another podcast a couple weeks ago and uh I'm just trying to get my thoughts here and how I explained it. Sports were sports were invented by dudes practicing to hunt. Yeah. Like they're like how can we fucking get ready to go hunt or practicing war. Yeah, we're practicing war, we're practicing hunting. Yeah. Like that's what they that's where sports come from. So that's why there's like this deep spiritual connection between battle and sports yeah and hunting it's all kind of it all kind of goes together it was a great transition for me to get into bow hunting i, I was already i bow hunted when i was a kid too but that was kind of like my escape you know football and bow hunting were my escape as a kid that's where i if i was i, if, I just stayed in the woods man because if not i was just a loose fucking cannon 